Hello and welcome to Blender video tutorial number four. Hope you're staying tuned because it will get a little more advanced in the new tutorial, so um just try to keep up and in this tutorial we will discuss how to make glass colors, um uh, just effects for your uh mesh that you've made. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and select the default cube if it's already not and hit the delete key and erase selected object okay and now it's gone so we're going to hit the space key and we'll hit add mesh UV sphere um, I'll set this down because I'm capturing you don't have to and then hit OK alright uh, now hit the S key. well uh, now we've got this uh, UV sphere added in uh, you can hit tab and tab and edit mode and see what it looks like in object mode. Um, if we want this to make it look like a glass ball, then we really need to change the way it looks. See, it's not very smooth looking. It's uh, very faced. It's, it's not very... It's a little crisp than we need it. So, uh, to make this look more smooth, we need to hit set smooth. Hmm. Uh, down here, all right, so select your select your UV face or your object that you want to, and go to your tab, your uh, edit buttons, which is this little icon. It's already selected for me. Uh, hit set smooth, and it will change the way it looks. It won't change much of the vertices around. It just uh, it'll, uh, it'll align them to where it's set smooth, and the light reflects off differently all right now I, I don't know if you can see this on YouTube because it's really fuzzy but you can still see the square and square faces in this object so to fix this even more without adding more vertices is go down to the tab key or uh, not tab key but an edit buttons go down and there's an add modifier we'll hit add modifier and we'll hit subsurf Okay, and you can hit level two. This is Catmill Clark, which is uh, subsurf. Okay, so if you hit the tab key to go to object mode, you can view this, and it looks a little. It looks a lot smoother. Uh, not not dramatically. I'm, I'm you know not too too much, but it looks a lot better than it did. All right. So now what we can do with this. To show you the difference, see that how many vertices there are. There's this square here. Well, if we go down to this, this is how we view our object, textured for mainly games. Uh, that's in Blender, shaded for light, knowing where lights are. Solid. So what we're in now, and if we hit wireframe, we can see all these wires in between the, the vertices. But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, show you where how this is adding some in that we can't edit see we added the subsurf modifier that it, it will affect the way it, the mesh is edited but it will it won't affect the uh, smoothness how it looks when you edit this uh, alright so we have our subsurf is added if we move this around we'll see well, let's hit the solid mode again. You'll see how it looks. You see, it's not its not as if you were to do it without the modifier. I'll take it off and you'll see. That's the difference. It's more jagged. At our subsurf. And it, it's not drawing it back. But um, it, it just draws it back to where it smooths it out as best as it can. Okay, maybe if you experiment around with this, you'll understand better. Uh, all right, let's talk about this modifier. There's lots of modifiers; they do awesome stuff. And um, how I get how you get the best performance of smoothness is um, to set this level up. This is the level that you edit in. So if I set this down, see the effect it it draws out some of these lines in here. Uh, you can change between solid and wireframe with the Z key. Uh, okay, so this is level two, and it will add some more wires in there to constrain the smoothness. 
this is the render level I usually set that to 3 and edit on level 2 so render on level 3 and edit on level 2 alright so let's just go ahead and uh, go to object mode solid view to make this look like glass or we'll just add color for right now so in our object one see before we had all these buttons in this circle here this is our materials button and these are subcategories but we're just in this one with the red ball and it selects by itself on default we're going to have to add to new which this adds to the database so now it's in our blender file excuse me and uh, now it's in our blender file okay and now we can change the color so we're going to make this a light blue. The COL is the main color. Uh, and the spectrum, is, this SPE, is the way the light really looks like after it reflects. So if we change this to red, now it reflects red and you can see the red polishes on the, the object. It's pretty cool. I use this a lot. Uh, because Blender can't interpret uh, what the light would reflect off, what color. In real world, a uh, white light might reflect a different color off uh, but off of like a red object red would reflect off onto the table so it wouldn't be red object white light and then it reflects white light it would be white and then red so this just makes it look more realistic but I should have not made this red but a darker blue or something the uh, spectrum it just it's uh you can toy with it and see what you think so zero for um, the camera view uh, it's a little small right now so if you hit the S key it will give you this dotted line between the center of that object and to the mouse so if you go out and in it will size up and size down so I'm just going to scale it up with the S key see S key scale it up now I've got this scaled up a bit okay as before you can put lights behind and in front. Seven for top view. Shift D, bring it over. Okay. Hit zero for a numerical keypad, and we can render this. Okay, so let's see what this looks like here. Alright, that's pretty cool. It's got a nice reflection off of it. Nice blue. Alright, I'm just going to minimize so we can keep it so we can look before and after alright so we've got this blue object and we want to make it glass and our materials tab will see these uh, uh, I'll teach you how to do that later how I broke that apart but it's the same thing should be right there the mirror transparent we've hit mirror, ray mirror and draw this first one up here and we look in the previews tab we just made this see-through okay and we can make this more see-through by bringing this up here uh, the frenzel is just, you know, just effects. See, uh, can't really capture it at the same time. See the effect, but uh, this depth, uh, that just kind. I'm not really sure what it means exactly, but I think it's how much light can pass through the solid object. I usually set that level four to make a nice glass effect. So now we'll go ahead and render this. Hope you got all that. Uh, okay. It is transparent now. Can't really see it. The reason we can't see it is because this the world setting is blue. So we, if we put another mesh behind this object, we'll be able to tell. Uh, add mesh plane. Bring it over. And we're in edit mode because that's by default. Switch number five. The numerical keypad for number five brings it to orthographic and we can bring this up alright the R key we can hit ro for rotate and rotate this plane over or we can use this as we used before okay and we'll hit the S key for scaling same thing in object mode hit tab get out of object mode and we'll change the color of this plane so just add new uh, change it to that color whatever it was and then hit F12 for rendering Okay, we'll see the effects of this.
See, now our mesh is showing, since it's transparent, it's like reflecting over as if it's glass. See, it's reflecting this object into here. Uh, this isn't a great example. I couldn't do a really good one because of how long it would take. Uh, so, now you've got the idea. You can experiment around. It's really good. Or, not really good, but it's really cool uh, to use. And I'll discuss a, a couple more effects that you can do in Blender with your objects in the next tutorial. Hope you enjoy.